All right. It's kind of like a handlock, lackey handlock. I don't know. He called it a mid-range lackey handlock, basically. Top 10 legend mid-range lackey handlock. Hey, buddy, watch this. Way to go, GG. Glenda Echo in the deck, though. I, I didn't build this list. It's from uh, XYZ, but I, it's a cool idea. It might be a little too sneaky. Like, you only get the one good turn with Glinda. Maybe she's bad the rest of the time, right? Sneaky stuff like that can be hard to work with. I always thought Spellbreaker was a nerf target, guys. I still think someday Spellbreaker might get nerfed. I think Doomsayer might get nerfed someday. There's a handful of cards I think are nerfable. Just because they're very, very good classic cards. Now, that does not mean I think they should be. There's a distinction there. Don't get mad at me. I think it's possible. I think I am in love with your Soul Warden Zephyrus deck. Oh, are you actually winning games? Because I, if so, congratulations. You're a better player than me. I could not win with it. It was so hard to work with. <laughs> it's so hard. I mean, we had some really fun, crazy turns, like hitting the infinite Zephyruses, but we couldn't ever seem to win despite the infinite Zephyrus. Okay. Turn for MG. Uh, is this Pogo's? Wow. Cool. If so, that's kind of spooky. I don't know if I can beat Pogo's. We gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Could also be like Zephyrus, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, this is probably right to get this out faster, right? We want to get tempo right now. Goblin Lackey is actually kind of garbage. It doesn't really do anything. Other than buff my Mountain Giant. Witchy Lackey doesn't do anything. Kobold Lackey does the most damage then if we're thinking about doing damage, I guess. Just hits face for two. Okay, I, I'm going to go fast. Let's play for that quick tempo here. I have Zephyrus, Soul Warden, and Zilliax in the discard pool, but I made a few changes. That's cool, yeah. Somebody else talked about putting, um, what was the other card somebody else wanted to put in the, in the pool? I forget. Oh, Plague of Flames, that you could always, like, destroy your Zephyrus and clear your opponent's board. Like, just keep clearing their board and keep playing Zephyruses and stuff. It's a cool idea, too. It went up for a meme warrior. Got seven wins in a row so far. Jeez, that's cool. Legendary Dragon Arms. Zephyrus Dragon Warrior. With Leroy, jeez, and Gorhal, and Armored Goon, and is it Quest? It is Quest, wow, okay. I dig it, that is indeed a meme, I'll say. But I dig it, I respect it. Anka? Oh my god, this must be an Anka Mechathune deck, maybe. That's crazy. It's pretty wild. Okay. Can we get there? Is it 17? Another answer to that? Oh, Cheap Shot's not that efficient, though, at least. Okay. Does he face tank, or does he use it twice? He uses it twice. Okay. So I'm pretty much going to pass the rest of this turn, probably. He's going to use it three times. So you going to Cheap Shot this. That makes sense. Nothing else to do with your turn. That makes sense. Will Cadle Rat, genius. See what we find. Maybe just play the Infested Goblin. Works for me. Uh, we'll Cable Rat, Genius, Evil Lurker. No, we can't Evil Lurker. We can Faceless Evil Lurker for four. Play the Goblin. That's probably better. Just get more stats, right? More pressure. More tempo. That's not bad. I'll take that. Okay. So Hellfire in hand, uh, 8, 10, and uh, 12 on board. That's 15. Cable Rat could find me a lethal... Off of a Kobold Lackey. Maybe Ethereal Lackey Grim Rally or something. Oh, whoa, that's actually extra damage for me. I don't hate that. It's just four damage I wouldn't have otherwise had access to. I guess he's going to face tank the 5-5. Five five. Kind of sounded good for a second there. I kind of dug that. Sounded pretty good. Lots of cheap shots in this deck so far. <laughs> this deck is all cheap shots. 
<laughs> so we have five seven. Um, um, oh, I think this is lethal, right? Cool. Okay. Spell damage for the win, man. Sweet. Now, how do I spot that so fast, but I don't spot the Silence Mountain Giant that quickly? Good lord. I was right on that. I was like, boom, boom, boom. As soon as I saw the Mortal Coil, I was like, let's go. <laughs> I still see the Silence Mountain Giant. I don't even think I knew the Spellbreaker was in hand. I don't even think I looked, is why. Almost finished with Smork Warrior. Nice, dude. I'm almost finished the stream, unfortunately, guys. I only have um, 15 minutes to go. Got to head out. Got to make a YouTube video. I'll be back tonight, though. So don't fret. There will be more streams this evening. We're going to do a uh, stream in uh, seven hours. Seven hours from now. Nice stream. It'll be fun. As always is. And, uh, oh my god, it's Haproon! Is this our Haproon? Oh my god, Haproon, dude! Is this our Haproon? I wonder. I wonder, is he here? Do you guys see Haproon in chat? We have a Haproon. Is Haproon a name from, like, pop culture, or is that something totally made up that you guys have never heard of? I don't see him in chat. What does the 2-3 taunt do in the deck? I think the idea is it mostly just adds cards to your hand for the handlock stuff. And it adds junk minions to throw away for your um, evil genius, maybe, is what we've done with it. So just a card you can play on curve that doesn't ruin your mountain giant, I think, is the idea. It keeps your mountain giant intact. Just 10, 15 minutes or whatever, normal time. How is this deck doing? It's been solid. It's, uh, it's been... It's been very close to winning some games, and it has also won some games. We're overall 2-3, and three, but basically all three losses felt winnable, if that makes sense. Like, I, they, I, there were games that was like, I, I think we could have won that, you know? I think we could have won that. I think, unfortunately, we have to shift here away from the Mountain Giant. It's um, a little unfortunate because I wanted to play it, but I can't let that live. And I get to refill my hand anyway for the Mountain Giant, so it's not that big a deal. But the, the Magic Carpet seems like a, a problem in a deck like this. Because if I play the Mountain Giant, I might just die to a bunch of one one, uh, one drops anyway. So let's not uh, stress too much on it. Your hair reminds me, for some reason, of the Whizbang card, just orange. Sounds like a cool thing. I like that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> it sounds really cool. Um, yeah, I think it looks a bit like Geppetto Joy Buzz sometimes, too. Geppetto Joy Buzz. I think I'm going to go for the Titanic Lackey on the 8 here, guys. Like, just force the action, you know? Make him make him really work for this. Hopefully he's not running the Black Knight in his uh, Highlander deck. If so, I will feel very, very bad. <laughs> Zilliac's pretty good, too, honestly. Oh, man. Zilliac's plus Lumi. Jeez. Putting in work on the Mountain Giant right now. Putting in some work. I can't actually Hellfire Trade Trade and keep alive my Mountain Giant. Do I think that's worth the trouble is the question. So I don't really have a good play otherwise. How much reactivity does this deck have? Can he kill an 8-1 Mountain Giant? You know, is it, is it worth the trouble? Because I can also just, like, trade over and, and play an Evil Genius or Evil Recruiter, right? I think I'd rather just play the Evil Recruiter. It's just more stats, you know? I think I'd rather just do that. Just trade over. Go face. Evil recruit here. Kobold lackey here. Maybe we evil recruit. Evil genius the kobold lackey again. Yeah. I like that better. Less fancy. Sometimes the fancy plays come back to bite you, you know? It's your lucky day. It's your lucky day. There is some logic, I'll admit, to, um... Evil geniusing the evil genius instead of the kobold lackey because we might hit a Takan or something, but it's fine. This is the better onboard play. We don't have that in hand. 
Or or a barista Lynchin, arguably, too, if we wanted the lackey immediately. But Evil Genius isn't bad with Lynchin either. So we have another good big board here. We have Siamont in hand as well to react to something. We have uh, Shadow Flame could be awesome. Twilight Drakes are certainly good to start with. I don't know how much this dude is going to be running, like, uh, removal. Oh, let's just do that instead, sure. Gonna go ahead and trade uh, awkwardly there instead of for the value trade. Just in case um, wide boards are bad, if we need more board space, if he has something that plays off of uh, smaller health menu. It's not like he's gonna have a Lord Godfrey or anything, but you never know. Or a Defile, right. It's not like we're playing around Defile, just... I like board space in case I want to play lackeys. There's a handful of different reasons. Wow. Okay. Yeah, turning rover is pretty legit for his deck, honestly. But it not having rush is kind of dooming him here. So this looks like an easy lethal. Cool. Okay. Sweet. All right. We out tempoed the Haproon one health paladin deck. I wonder if he's gonna swing by the stream because Haproon, if it is the Haproon that we know is a pretty common viewer here. I wonder if he'll swing by. Are you going to play Priest later? Tonight? Uh, this stream's almost over, so I won't be playing anything uh, tonight. Um, but no Priest tonight, I, I bet. And definitely not today either. I, we might play Priest tonight. I don't know. I don't have any plans. I don't have a list of Priest cards, but you never know. Something could surprise me. Something could pop up and we decide to play it. Since you always do your crafting guide, I wanted to ask you if you think Quest Priest is worth crafting. Um, I, I already... I don't always do a crafting guide for the record. I didn't make a crafting guide for this expansion. I just did my top 10 legendaries. Quest Priest right now is not in that list, though. It's, uh... It's not really how people are playing Priest at the moment. People are playing Combo Priest instead of Quest Priest. The Quest doesn't look terrible, necessarily. It's just not, not making the cut in the meta. So Combo Priest runs without Quest, and then the highest Quest Priest is Quest Wall Priest, which is a low Tier 2 deck. So certainly you can win with it, like you can compete with it. You know, it's not it's not bad. It's just not, you know, the best place to spend your dust right now. So it kind of just depends on how much dust you have. Um, ooh, that's going to be good next turn. Depends on how much dust you have. What kind of decks you really want to play? Like, if you really want to play Quest Wall Priest, then sure, it's not a bad craft. It's just not at the top of the list, you know? Not at the top. Uh, I am trying out decks from other people. I don't I don't play decks that you guys make, because otherwise i got to play your decks all the time. I can't just, like, pick one of your decks and then ignore everybody else. But I am playing some, like, pro decks and stuff and, and high legend decks and those sorts of things from the community at large. I think history buff is wildly Regis. underrated. Anyway, I, can get I love a prayer this card. To Jesus. I underrated it hard Put too. Put in my facility license application yesterday. Won't hear if I get approved for 150 days. I have no idea what that means, Mega Sushi, but here's the holy road for you, dude. Um, I wish you the very best, man. I hope it goes well. It sounds fancy. Facility license sounds cool, but um, what's that left minute? It's history buff. I think it's drastically underrated. Mortal Coil off the top. Please, God. Mortal Coil off the top. Another Mountain Giant. I think I still have to Hellfire. I don't think I... Do I trade into that, though? Man, I don't know. Thanks. I got a Hellfire, though, because we're almost dead. I think I have to trade because we're almost dead. Like, Mecha, dude, good luck. And thank you for the 200 bits, dude. Thank you for the 200 bits. What if we are pros? Then, then get your deck on, like, a deck accumulation website or Reddit, and I will find it there. <laughs> but if it comes through chat, it's just... Sadly, I, I end up making people mad. I, it's, 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 uh, it's a, it's a sad reality. I don't love it either. I, I wish it was easier for me to play community decks, but it's just, I end up making people mad if I do. Okay. Zilliax ain't bad. We're still going to have a hard time stabilizing, though. I don't think we're out of the woods at all. But Godfrey and Siamat are both decent answers to whatever he does next. If he goes tall, we have the Siamat. If he goes wide, we have the Godfrey, hopefully. So we might get there. That is unfortunately gapped on the Godfrey. So that is a Siamat play. <gasps> oh, 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 that helped a lot. That basically has four health. Um, 
Okay, so Godfrey feels way better now. Because this dies on the first one, this dies on the second one, and this dies on the third one. Sweet. Woo! Argent Squire, dude, coming in clutch. <laughs> Thank you, Argent Boy. Woo! Spooky stuff. All right. Uh, I didn't notice that he discarded it. He play everything. I think he played everything. All right. So down to 19, actually. That's kind of cool for us, too. I like this list. A uh, Like a self-damage zoo. Siamat, um, not really doing what I need. I, I actually, oh, Mortal Coil's insane. Do I Mortal Coil a Voodoo Doll, or do I Mortal Coil one of his minions? I think we still Mortal Coil one of his minions, right? And then we Siamat Rush, yeah. That's fine. Uh, I don't know which of these are the right targets. You never get to see this artwork, by the way. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Siamat Rush, Wind Fury... I don't think we go taunt, do we? It's actually debatable to go taunt here. Rush and taunt is not bad. I think I am going to. I think I do. Because these don't trade that well anyway. Right? It's worse against Spirit Bomb and Soul Fire in some ways, but better against the actual board here. Because I was going to leave a minion up that could go face otherwise. Now these both just kind of terminate into the Siamat and he's still around. So he forces action a little harder. I'm hoping lackeys can get me out of this mess. Oh, that's pretty good trades, though. Still not that amazing. Pretty okay for us. It's actually good news that this has the taunt now, because otherwise these would uh, be hitting face for two, which could be bad. I feel like this deck could use a Sun Fury Protector. Hey, I, got you, I think it'd make it a little bit better. It's a good buff, actually, there. Makes that hard for me to kill. So, we have some plays. We can silence. We can play some big dudes. We can taunt, which is nice. I think we open with lackeys to see what we find. Titanic lackeys really good for us. I guess maybe you don't need Sun Fury if you've got Titanic lackeys, now that I think about it. That probably explains why there's no Sun Fury. Yeah, never mind. I take back what I said. I think this is just way better. I'm gonna go face here. Let's create uh, counter pressure. Let's look for the win soon. Because he may not be able to kill this, and it hits very hard. Are you still thinking of doing deck inspectors? Yes, yeah. We're going to kick it off um, probably in September at some point. I'm going to let this kind of early expansion rotate out. Not rotate out, but roll out, and uh, we'll kick it off before long. Originally from Arkansas. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> you didn't play my deck when I'm still mad. Well, that's the other side of it, right? Oh my god, Zephyrus is so clutch, dude. Zephyrus is so good. I might lose because of Zephyrus here. That sucks. I didn't realize this was the Zephyrus too, but it's pretty sweet. Oh my god, that's a lot of pressure too. Jeez. He goes face always here, yeah. Always. Shadow Flame is pretty clutch. Um, it doesn't actually kill the Defender of Argus, though. What we could do is just Shadow Flame the Voodoo Doll, too. It means I'd have to kill the Zephyrus with something else. Maybe I just Shadow Flame an Omega Agent in trade. Let's see what this finds us first, actually. We could also just Silence in Shadow Flame. That's pretty good, too. Yeah, I think I like that better, maybe. Silence Shadow Flame makes a lot of sense here. Uh, Theo Lackey can help me find Lethal Outs later, too. I'm going to play the Taunt now, so I'm not going to play the Ethereal Lackey, but... Okay. I want to play the Taunt just in case he's running a Leroy, right? Because we're at 6. So Leroy, this might shut out a Leroy, and that could be incredibly vital. Alrighty. That's big, but is it enough to stall a lethal? Let's see. He gave me lethal by tapping. That seems wrong. I don't think you do that. That's a mistake, right? You don't give me the lethal out by tapping. I know you want the other three drop. I guess maybe if you roll into a taunt, you're pretty pumped. But I think that's selfish. I, or not selfish. Greedy. That's greedy. That's pretty greedy. Um, we didn't get the lethal on that. That's sad. But thankfully, he gave it to us anyway. So see, yeah, we had another chance here to hit a cobalt lagging. But we might have not had lethal there. He could have... Uh, could have given us the game there accidentally. Anyway, guys, I'm done.